Number 21. If the absolute value of 4x minus 4 equals 112, what is the positive value of x minus 1? Honestly, these questions. Um, <laughs> you'll see why I'm slightly annoyed with them in a minute. So absolute value 4x minus 4 equals 112. If we're solving for x, we would have to look at both versions of it because absolute value means if I have a number, like I say the absolute value of x equaled 10, x could be negative 10 or positive 10 because the absolute value of both of those numbers is 10. Absolute value, what it technically means is how far away is the number from the zero point and negative 10 and positive 10 on a number line are both 10 units away from zero. That's what it means in our sort of our real world application. It basically just means make it positive. So negative 10 becomes positive 10, positive 10 stays the same. So when you're solving an absolute value equation, you have to take into account both of those options. So 4x minus 4 could equal 112 or 4x minus 4 could equal negative 112. Well, if you look over here, the negative 112, uh, if you want to go through and see it, that's totally fine. When I'm looking at it, my first thought, I'm going, wait a minute, if I add 4, to both sides, this is still going to be negative over here. And if I divide by 4, I'm going to get x is a negative answer. And if I get a negative x and then I subtract 1, it's going to be still negative. So when it's saying what is the positive value of x minus 1, this over here on the right, this whole thing is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. So the only thing that matters is 4x minus 4 equals 112, which also means that this absolute value is just there to mess with you because this is what they're wanting you to solve. 4x minus 4 equals 112. What is x minus 1? Honestly, it's kind of mean. <laughs> it really is. Because you're like, that, that, the absolute value doesn't mean anything. You immediately get rid of it when they ask you what's the positive value. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> to solve for this, 4x minus 4 equals the positive 112. I want to undo what's been done to x. First, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And that gives me 4x is equal to 116. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And when I do that, I get x is equal to 29. But they did not ask me for the value of x. Always, always, always go back and reread your question before you put your final answer in because they are counting on students to get in the weeds of this and then reach the end and go, X is 29, 29, move on. And they got it wrong. Nope, they did not ask for X. They asked for what is X minus one. Hard math there, right? So if X is 29, X minus one is 28. 28 is my answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.